No Jumper, coolest podcast in the world. And today, we're sitting down for a very interesting dive into Chicago folklore. We got the THF Billet interview on deck. The Green Eye Devil. Mm. Oh, shit. Just like that. Like that, I guess. Huh? You didn't expect me to start talking to the camera? Nah, hell no. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, it'd be like that. Um, okay, and so, obviously, this is Remo. Do uh, you want to introduce your... Your co-host? My who? Your co-host? Oh, yeah, that's eight choices. My boy, my brother. Definitely. So, uh, okay, what's going on? How, how are you enjoying L.A. so far? Man, that's all right. It's your first time out here, right? Yeah. Cause you, oh. you was telling me you this is the first time you've been on a plane in 20 years? Yeah, probably like over 20 years, for real. I went when I was a little kid. I flew with my mom, but that was it. Damn. Oh yeah, that's oh. Uh, where was the first time you ever flew? Where uh, did you go like, when you first got home? Africa. Oh, where? Oh shit! Yeah. So you flew out the country before you flew anywhere else? Yeah, that was my first and last time. Where? That's a crazy first trip. How old were you back then? Uh, like eight. Eight. Nice. Do you ever feel like you're kind of closed off to the world around you? Because it's like you like having never been on a plane anywhere in America. It kind of reminds me of the. The other quote that you have where you said that you've never been to a club. Yeah. I just don't, don't party. I'd rather chill somewhere where I'm safe than to be out, you know. Because a lot of people die in the clubs and at parties. Most of the time, it ain't even a person who it's intended for, you know. Definitely. I mean, I'm 40 now, so I have very little interest in going out. But when I was young, I was trying to do everything. So yeah. to this day, you've never been in the club or just in a club in Chicago? Nah, I just don't club. Like, sometimes I'll stop at a little, you know, side spot that got food and a bar, but never been to the club in my life. For sure. So to so the people who don't know who you are, tell them where you're from exactly, and, you know what I'm saying? Like, you come up, like your start. I'm from the south side of Chicago. Um, I was born and raised on the low end, 46th, 45th area. Um, Pretty much, that's it. Uh, I started making music, just bullshitting around in school sometimes here and there. And then one day I um, listened to Sly. My brother had a CD from Sly, and I played it one day on my way to school. And I was listening to it. I'm like, damn, that's nice. I could do that. Who is it? Sly? Yeah, Sly Polaroid. Yeah, I don't know them. You ain't never heard of Sly? Uh-uh. You're from Chicago? Well, I think you heard, I heard him mention in another interview, but I never heard of him. You heard of Bump J? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Bump J and Sly was like this. That's who was oh, always okay. with him, the tall guy. Okay. Yeah, my brother had a CD from him, and I used to listen to it, and it was just, like, intriguing. So I just, I could do that shit one day, and I just started doing that. But that's where I really got my style from, too, you know, rap with a little more substance instead of just the normal drill rap, you know, saying anything for real. Yeah, because you're more on the, the lyrical side of, like, you try to, you know what I'm saying, you take the craft more serious than a lot of people that's coming up. Yeah, that's, the new the new thing is like you know punching in. Nobody don't write. I still take my time to write, so it's a little different. Most rappers just put on the beat, go in the studio, and say what's you know whatever come to their head. But that's why a lot of the sounding the same. But if you sit down and take time to think of what you're saying and what you're writing, then it make a little more sense. You know, definitely. So what what were your younger days like when you were a real young kid? What are your memories of the neighborhood and shit? Um, it was a good neighborhood, a lot of families, but you know, as time went on, that started to go out the window. People lose their houses, move, and then that's 2010, 2011. It just started getting worse and worse and worse to the point now, it ain't even safe to let your kid go outside and play. That's how it feels these days. Uh, for real though, like even walking home from school is like a challenge for the kids because you don't know what's gonna happen. A lot of kids be getting hit just on their way to the store, or coming back from the park, or walking the dog, and so fuck, ain't nobody got no structure, no. It's more like the purge for real, you know? Damn, really? Seriously? You feel like it was worse back then, or, or is nah? Back then it was cool. You know, you could go play ball. You could go walk from this neighborhood all the way to that neighborhood. Yeah. You could go to the to the after school program like that. You can't do that now. 
See what happened to them two little boys that got killed in the South Loop. Yeah, why? 16 and 17. Because that, that, that was kind of a crazy thing because then they they had footage of them basically like walking around their neighborhood with big ass guns, 16 year olds or however but old, and they had fucking that's all pipes. They, that's all they see though, you know? Mm. So to, to the average 15, 16 year old kid who even can't get access to a gun, oh, all I see is these other on the internet with guns and acting like they outside looking for somebody or doing this and that. Mm. Most of the time, you see they was at school though at this time. Yeah. So you know how you play the, the, the dark life at night and then you're at school in the morning. Gotta make it make sense. Them little boys probably was just flashing guns doing what they see every day. And they on their way coming out of school get killed outside of school. So you know it ain't even safe, and that's in the South Loop. So think about the schools that's in the normal neighborhoods. Mm. Robeson, shit like that, Simeon. Them everyday neighborhoods where niggas be having issues and problems, eh, you know? 